early morning we're getting ready to go to Hakiang where we will either take a bus to Don Wan this is Wan Don Don Wan I think and uh, if we don't take a bus we probably rent a scooter or two and we'll all do the countryside driving on a scooter we have 15 minutes left to be out of here. We leave most of our luggage at the hotel. Just the important stuff go along. And off we go. Haji Hang bus station. Of course, no car can come here. They walk to come and pick us up. And a scooter on its way. Hanoi, which is the capital of Vietnam, was our first base. We booked our hotel, which arranged our trips and also stored our luggage, allowing us to travel a bit lighter on several trips. Hanoi is the base from which all our trips were booked. I was pretty much freaked out by the traffic and the chaos in Hanoi. How these people can drive around without getting into accidents was just mind-blowing. There is absolutely no order. Everyone just drives and wiggles their way through the traffic. It was only after some time in Vietnam that we came to realize that this was a very well-organized chaos. The Vietnamese people are very patient drivers. They give way to others and the blowing of the horns were not out of aggression, but mainly to make the others aware of their presence. We were quite relieved to get out of this hustling and bustling city to a less chaotic town in the north. A lovely sleeper bus to relax on the seven hour strip north. But boy, oh boy, this was a ride out of a horror movie. Uncoming traffic in the same lane, horns blowing every 30 seconds. When traveling with the family, we would recommend that you book the back seats. They are very comfortable and you can lie right next to one another. Well, that's a headstand, that's not a handstand. We're okay, here okay. in Ha Giang. Okay. I don't know Ha Giang, Ha Giang, and it's quite vibrant atmosphere. There's our little bar, KM Zero Cafe, very nice bar. Whilst, whilst you were gone, there were three different groups of people that came to speak to me individually. First, I was sitting there, and there was a girl with her mom and her sister, and they asked me, "What's my name?" and where we're we from and how long are we here and where to next so i answered her and she said thank you and she left came to sit down here and then there was a group of about five teenager boys hello what's your name where are you from how long have you been here where to next thank you goodbye and then a couple came over and they asked exactly the same question so there's obviously some people learning English here at the moment and they've been given a task to speak to foreigners. So it's so cool that there's other people out there that want to learn the English language. Daddy! Wonderful! I think I just did a hand stack on my hands, not Go. my head. Show me. Yeah. Keep the hands straight, huh? Okay. When going down, keep the hands straight. Wow! Luckily it's nice and soft, bro. Hello. And that's yeah. like a somersault almost. Let me say that as well. And we are having fun in Vietnam. Such friendly people. And the kids are having a ball on this tricycle. So much fun. We 
left Hanoi and we are in Hagiang or pronounced Haziang at the moment. And this is the little town that you stay over before you go to Dong Donwang. Now we have one little problem. The route to Donwang, you can take either, you have three options. You rent a car with a driver for uh, 4 million dong. You rent a motorbike or you take a bus. If you take a bus, you miss all the scenic spots. You basically get into this very cramped bus. You're very lucky if you get your own seat. And it's seven hours of hell in the bus. You rent a car with a driver. It's not the same experience that you will get um, when driving with the scooter. So, we are a family of four. Two kids, me and Evan. And luggage. We can't do this trail with one scooter and luggage. The problem is, I have never in my life ridden a scooter. I've always been a pillion. And we desperately want to do this. So, our adventure starts today. Evan is going to give me some scooter lessons. And um, from there, we will decide whether we're going to do this or not. I thought it's Milani, but it's not her. She's getting scooter lessons 101. And this is the average Vietnamese scooter with lots of stuff on it. Oh, there she comes. No, it's not she. Oh, it is she. <laughs> It's she! Look! She's driving and she looks beautiful on a scooter. I didn't recognize you. Go all the way to the end. That's like, will it? Oh yeah, that's a nice turning point. She's teaching herself lesson one-on-one. -on -one. Megan and Kayla out of the way. When you do a turn like that, lean towards the inside, no? Are you leaning that way and it makes it worse? The inside, the inside of the turn. So if you turn left, even slow, lean a bit more to the left side and just get the feel of the scooter. Maybe uh, it's doing very well. I'm so impressed. And off she goes again. So if she feels Comf comf comfortable enough if she feels comfortable enough to drive the scooter up the mountains we will only rent two scooters which you'll get for about ten dollar a day per scooter but uh, if she's not comfortable we're gonna have to get her a rider and then that goes up to seven hundred thousand dong a day for that one scooter which is uh, $50 a day for one scooter so it goes to $60 a day instead of $20 a day so over three days it makes a considerable difference and we can rather use that money to go explore and do more sightseeing well that's a plan but if she doesn't feel comfortable that's fine we'll just get another scooter if a little bit extra you can get a car and everybody goes into the car but that's just, that sounds so boring. Even the kids don't want to do that. Yes, you can't believe this lady has just started to learn to drive motor bikes. Yes, now, now she's gaining some experience in the quiet suburb. We're gonna take it one step at a time. One road at a time, it's still going slow, but at least it's going. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. Lonnie's first long uh, distance trial. We're going through the mountains. We just went through a hectic and uh, bad traffic and she's right behind us we're staying here in Wuong Tao 2 it's in a right to the back of Ha uh, Xiang uh, if you come to the Don Juan in that area, you most likely take a bus to this place. And this is such a nice place to sleep over. It's like a 
guest house. Nice big rooms. It's clean, it's tidy. You have your own bathroom. This one has a fridge in as well. Even outside, it's very clean and very tidy and beautiful. And I must say the manager, um, she's lovely, super friendly, very helpful. She speaks very good English. Really, we recommend this is awesome. So they help you and organize um, trips up the mountain to Don Juan and those places. Even accommodation they'll arrange for you from here. So they make sure that all the bookings and stuff are done for your three day trip up the mountain. And um, cheap, very cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. So this is our top recommendation. We stayed in the other hotel, but that was terrible. So we don't want to even discuss that hotel or name that hotel, but it was close to the bus station and we moved to here. Wait! <laughs> Wow. Hello. Thank you very much. We now at our favorite restaurant called Blue Sky. They get quite busy at times. Yesterday it was packed. Today it looks a bit better. And they have a nice menu. No prices on it, but you don't need it because it's not very expensive. Right, so this is the one, the one meal we've ordered. It has pork sticks, that's the meat, and then a lot of veggies and some leaves. So first you cut the pork sticks in four pieces. And this is quite a lovely sauce coming with this dish. And these are rice leaflets. I don't know what you call it, but it's rice, paper, paper rice. You put it like that. The correct way actually is using chopsticks. Aren't they missing something? The coleslaw, I think. Yeah. Alright, so we're still waiting for that. And then you wrap it. Wrap it and eat it. And enjoy it. And it's actually quite lovely. It looks so simple and plain, but it's quite lovely. Your hands are always in the way. Sorry. Like that. You dip it, it gets wet and soft, and you eat it. Mm. Nice. Oh, don't even ask me to pronounce what this soup is, but this is the local one here in Haziang. And it looks divine. I'm gonna get the kids quickly. So this is the end of the restaurant and this is basically the living room and I'm going to look for the kids. Toilet right at the back, the kitchen. And it's quite steep up here. <sighs> ladies, 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 are you playing nicely? Oh, again, food is ready. You must come and eat. Okay, but calm down now. Eh? Eventually, the food's ready. <laughs> They're playing so nicely. Yes. What? What is this? Camera. Camera. You know camera? Yes. Uh, uh, camera and YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> A clever girl. Camera for YouTube, clever girl. Camera, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> Luckily, these two had cooking lessons on the boat, so they know how to roll and wrap the rice spring rolls. Just call it spring rolls. Ah, just spring rolls. Sorry, man. Not rice. Not rice spring. Just spring rolls. Yeah. Ah, uh, daddy, apologize. Now you must dip it. Check. But the dip is spicy, daddy. It's not that spicy. Come out for you. 
Kayla is preparing some another spring roll. Another spring roll for us. She's putting in carrot, meat, cucumber, cucumber. some other veggie. Oh, fruit. Part. We're not sure what it is. The sauce is the wine, by the way. And you put some of that in. It's a slaw, cold slaw type of thing. Our daughters are really learning so much through our travels. They learn how other cultures live, what they eat and they are also making so many friends. We were welcomed with open arms in the little town of Haoziang. This town was only supposed to be our base but we extended our stay here due to all the new friends we made. In the next video we will see if I had enough courage to take on the daunting mountain passes on my own scooter or did I travel with a nauseating bus missing the most scenic routes. So stay tuned for our next episode and please remember to hit the subscribe button.